next guest is an elementary school teacher who understands that the keys to getting kids excited about learning are patience, enthusiasm, and lots of explosives. He is the author of the Nick and Tesla Science Adventure books. Please welcome Science Bob Flugfelder. <laughs> Well, look at that. You got a bunch of stuff uh, again. And we're going to, by the way, since the last time I saw you, you got invited to the White House. White House Science Fair. Yeah, what an amazing event. You got young people using science technology, innovating at that place. It was, it's a great event. No matter who wins the election, I hope they keep it. I'm guessing you did not explode anything in the White we House? We did not, no. Yeah. Luckily, I was just a guest. I see. Server. OK, yes, all right. Well, that was good thinking, um, Bob. All right. You're always very bright. I do what I can. So what should we? Uh, what are we going to see here tonight? All right, you, so... Uh, what miracles of science do you have to present? Uh, shall we start with a little physics? Yes, why not? All right. Sure. So uh, as you know, light uh, travels, but it travels uh, at different speeds. It travels very fast, but it travels at different speeds through different objects. So I didn't another, know that. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, so it'll, it'll travel through air at one speed. It'll travel through glass at another speed, plastic at another speed. What if it travels to Hawaii? Is that a totally different speed? It can speed? do that at 186,000 miles per second. Well, that is fast. That's fast, yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll show you what we can, uh, we can demonstrate this. Okay. So this is a uh, Pyrex test tube. Uh, Pyrex is uh, it's a special it's borosilicate glass. Uh, it uh, can take temperature variations, so it's used for labs uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got probably uh, a I have these at my house. Right, yeah. a Pyrex measuring one. So, right. uh, so if you take this, mm -hmm. and we're going to put it in water. So put it partially in water here. OK. All right. Like and how so we much? Can, we can see it, right? So yeah. The reason we can see it is because light travels at a different speed through water than through air, which is in the test tube. Boring. Right. So now <laughs> fill it with water. OK. So fill it with water. All right. So now we can see it less because it's traveling at a closer speed to water. OK. And it's still so it's, boring, it's though, still Bob. Boring. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll tell you what. For the next part, you're going to need to put some gloves on. OK. Now I know so, where it gets, so there, it gets serious. OK. <laughs> so there. Take that. All right. And um, Put these on my hands? Put those on your hands. You OK. Just need, to, just need that. So we're going to take another one of these. OK. Bend and over. And uh, <laughs> so, we got an aquarium. This is actually, you can try this experiment at home uh, with your measuring cups. This is an aquarium filled with uh, cooking oil. Oh. Just like uh, vegetable oil. OK. And so if you take that. All right. And just uh, dip it in, uh, uh, into the edge right there. And okay. you can see, we can still see it, correct? Yes. Because again, it's traveling through oil, then it's traveling through air. Oh, my but God. But it turns out, vegetable oh. oil, oil and Pyrex have something a little bit different. Dunk it in so it actually fills up with the oil. OK. And then, see, it just tends to vanish away. All, all we can see, see is the bubbles. All we yeah. can see is the bubbles. We can't. Wow. Yeah. Hold on, let me yeah, You can leave that in there. OK. Yeah, you can leave that in there. You can take your glove off if okay. you like there. All right. We got a towel here. All right, So great. we can show that. Uh, I got a, a friend that uh, works with, <laughs> <laughs> he works with borosilicate glass. So he got What's his name? His name is Wayne. Oh, OK. Yeah, Wayne. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, so he's created, we got a, a um, a big uh, Wayne thing made here. this. Wayne made this. He's yeah. the best. He Isn't really he is. Best? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, there's a little uh, uh, hidden surprise in here, though. This is a little tube. If you blow uh, hard in this tube. Oh <laughs> well. I, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, trust me. What are you teaching these it's kids? All <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be legal till January, Bob. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. So blow, blow in, in the yeah, tube. Yeah. So we're going to put air into it, and what you'll get to see is now that's filling with air, and we can actually see the glass tube that was inside. Wow, Wayne really did a number on this, he did didn't a great he? Yeah. Job, yeah. That's pretty great. <laughs> That's my breath in there, huh? That is, yeah. So you can see how air and uh, oil it travels through different Yeah, you can in see. In fact, that. if we go back to this, uh, oh, we have a really? there's a uh -huh. couple of little head surprise for you. You didn't know it, but that whole time we actually had this hidden in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, this one oh there. yeah. This, this is in there that whole time. Oh, yeah. oh, this one is in there. You yeah, son a of a bitch. I think we even got one more. Uh, 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 wait. Uh, uh, OK, I'm not going to get that one. Wait, I got it. There it is. Wow. Uh, 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 we call that the index 
every fraction. Wow, this yeah. is like the ending of The Sixth Sense. It's <laughs> like a total surprise twist. You bored us for three solid minutes <laughs> and then came back to this and unbelievable how you pulled yeah. that out. The yeah. Night Shyamalan wow. and Science. All right, come on over. We got I some can chemistry. see why Wayne loves to hang out. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do a little chemistry experiment. Now, we know, if you remember from middle school, you need three things for fire. Mm -hmm. You need fuel, mm -hmm. you need heat, and, and you need... Tequila. And no? you, oh. you need... You need oxygen. oxygen. You need oxygen. Of course, All right, we all so need that. I've got a chemical in here. It's a very flammable chemical. It's called Good. red phosphorus. Okay. We're going to burn that, and air is 20% oxygen. So we're going to see how it burns in 20% oxygen. Okay. These flasks, however, are filled with 100% oxygen. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn it, see what it looks like in 20% oxygen. How'd you get it in there? Uh, we used, uh, it was kind of fun. We used liquid oxygen. We liquefied oxygen. We put it in there and let it vaporize. Huh. It was kind of fun. Oh. Um, so anyway. <laughs> this is how we have fun. <laughs> so we're going to get that burning, and then we're going to uncap it. We're going to turn it upside down and put it right over there. All right, let's do it. we're going to see a difference. All right, yeah. we got our goggles on. Okay. All right, get ready. Go ahead and light that. All right. There we go. Oh. All right, so there it's going. All right, remove the cap now over here. Ready? Okay. Yeah. And carefully flip it over. Careful. Put it right over that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Whoa. Oh. There's a tendrils here. Tendrils here. I like that. Oh, I know. This experiment it was done in the 1600s. It goes way back. Although they were trying to make uh, gold when they did it, it was alchemy. Did they, were they successful in they making gold? They were not in making gold at all, no. Wow, wow, no. wow, that's pretty great, yes, I that's like that. Yeah, great. So this is a closed uh, chemical breakdown, so uh, either the oxygen will run out or the phosphorus will run out and then it will stop going. All right, well, beautiful. Cool? All, all right. right, what Four? else are we gonna do? Is this dangerous? Uh, no, that's all right, leave it there. All right, all right, great. All right, so the only thing better than physics and chemistry is when we can put the two together. Okay. And so that's what we've got here today. So uh, you know my, uh, my favorite liquid, uh, cold liquid, because we've used it on the show before. You enjoy it. Your favorite cold lemonade? No, no, no. It's oh. liquid nitrogen. Oh, liquid nitrogen, yes. Right. Yeah. So I've got something here that looks a little bit like liquid nitrogen. Okay. Because it's very, very cold. Liquid nitrogen is 321 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. This I know. is actually 260 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Wow. But this is liquid methane. Would that, like, if you stuck your pinky in there, would it snap right off? Uh, it would freeze the cells of your skin and kill them, yep. Great. Yeah. So right. here's what's great that you can't do with liquid nitrogen. If I take this little lighter thing here. I'm glad you're not with ISIS, I'll tell you that. And then look at that. So now, that flame is about 3,500 degrees, and below is minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Isn't that pretty cool? So it's, it's like incredible. the DLT. <laughs> Hot and cold, yeah. Too dated a reference? <laughs> but, uh, it's got another cool feature. It's called the light and frost effect. Okay. The light and frost effect, you know when you put water on a hot skillet and it dances around? I do. Right, so this is very, uh, very cold, and so the floor, considered, compared to this, is very, very hot. It's a gear so lay down. Dance around. <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens when we pour liquid methane on the floor. You ready? Yeah, let's Check see. Check this out. Whoa. Wow. That's pretty good. And will that actually damage the floor? Or no, that... so it's, it's not even touching so the floor. So you can show up at a party, and instead of a bottle of wine, yeah. you could have that. When the door opens, you just go... <laughs> I got a little more left, should we? Yeah, don't do yeah, whatever yeah, you have to. Yeah, let's do yeah. one more. Here we yeah. go. Wow. Let's look at the instant replay here so we can watch it in slow motion. And there's, look at that, Science Bob. He's a pyromaniac, if nothing else. All right, well, we got another, a very big, you built something. I did build something Huge for and you. spectacular. Yes. Bob's website is sciencebob.com. We'll be right back with Science Bob and one more amazing thing. All right, this is it. What do we have here, Science Bob? All right, so here's what we're doing. We're playing with a little high-voltage electricity. Beautiful. And a little combustible vapors. Okay. All right, so here's what I got here. These are old-school film canisters here. And we're going to create a spark gap inside of these canisters using this little handheld Tesla coil. So a Tesla coil creates a high voltage electricity, and it's got that little button. If you push that little button, go ahead, you can take it. All right, now you can't really see it, but if you bring it near the metal edge of this table. I should? Yeah, sure, it's okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, okay, now I see what's going All right, on. All right, so All that, right. if you put it, touch it to this, just this wire here, uh -huh. we're going to create a little spark gap. 
so you can see a little spark in there. Okay. That should ignite the ethanol vapor, which is in here, and launch this like a rocket. Oh, all right. All right. Good. All right. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. I'm ready. Try. All right, is everyone ready? Here we go. That's a good one, huh? <laughs> oh, you can do the rest. Now I'm scared to do the rest, all right. Awesome. That's like, well, that's exciting. Yeah. That's so. And by the way, I want to mention to the younger audience who may not have seen, film was something we used to oh, use, yeah. uh, film canisters, yeah. uh, to store weed, right? Isn't Plastic. that correct? <laughs> All right. All right, so I've been working on a little project for you. Come on over here. All right. So this is a little bit different. We have got a bigger Tesla coil and 315 film canisters. Awesome. So here's how it's going to work. There is a chain reaction spark gap in here. And uh, ethanol is like a biofuel, so it's flammable. We got a little bit in each one. And so if all goes well, as we spin this, it will swing by. The spark will jump from here over to this wire and send this entire volley all off at once. And we'll kill everyone in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's so the world's first Tesla coil powered uh, Gatling gun. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So uh, only thing better than one is two. I got one over for you. All right. Great. So Here we go. Them out. All right, there's a little handle there. Just go ahead, you can start like spinning it. Just, you know, nice, even pace. I can't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> there you go, crank. It doesn't matter what direction, crank away, you know. Just start what, cranking yeah, it? Yeah, go ahead, start cranking. Are you telling me to crank it? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm cranking. That's good. All right, time to power them on. Ready, three, two, one. Power test, oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. I gotta tell you something. You must be so much fun to have as a teacher. I mean, this really, uh, it makes me want to kick my other teachers. It <laughs> we, really does. We have a lot of fun. Well, yeah, go to sciencebob.com if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Science Bob, please tell everybody. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.